Hello and welcome to Wacker Noise and Tech Talks. I'm your host and technical training manager, Jake Gaylord. Today I've got Daryl Pufal with me and we're going to be talking about the safe load indicator system on Wacker Noise and Excavators. Good morning, Daryl. Good morning, Jake. So can you tell me what, what exactly is the safe load system? The safe load system uh, is a system on the excavators that we use to alert the operator of a potential overload. Okay, so what, what would uh, a result of an overload be? Are we going to wreck the machine? What, what would happen potentially? There is potential to do damage to a machine, but the bigger hazard is tipping. Okay, so literally tipping the machine over. Correct. All right, so what models does safe load come on? The safe load system is available on the ET65, the ET90, and ET145, and okay. it is standard. That is a standard option. That Great. is. All right, Daryl, so what kind of magic we have in place here? How does the machine know it might potentially tip over? What is the, the technical definition behind how the system works? There's a pressure sensor in the base end of the boom cylinder. As you're lifting, that pressure is monitored by the MCU, the machine control unit, based on the calibration value stored in the machine. Okay, so there's a threshold, and it's looking at the pressure on that boom cylinder, and if it exceeds that or, or gets to a certain percentage, it's going to alert the operator. Correct, it'll alert the operator. One, there'll be an audible alarm, and two, it'll throw a, a caution symbol on the display. Is the safe load system set from the factory, Daryl? It is set from the factory. It is not adjustable. Okay. We can go in and do a calibration to set that value. So Daryl, tell me, why would I need to calibrate this system if it's indeed set from the factory? In event of a pressure sensor failure or an MCU failure, we'd have to recalibrate. Okay. So how is this calibration done? Is this uh, something we do with the WANDA tool? Is this on the display in the machine? Or what's the process? You must use the WANDA tool to do the configuration. We go to the calibrations page and we want to select overload configuration option. Once we've got this correct machine selected, walk us through what the steps might be. We need to position the machine according to the diagram in WANDA. And this will vary based on machine model. We want the excavator on a flat level surface. Braces and shields must be in the fully raised position. We need the boom cylinder specifically at the dimension shown, the 57 and a quarter inches. Okay, that dimension, that 57 and a quarter. Looking at the drawing, it looks like it's going to be from pin center to pin center total length. That is correct. Now we want to connect the dipper stick cylinder to an appropriate ground anchor. Place the machine in the position as shown, and then use another machine to apply load downward on the quick hitch. We chose one of our lighter machines that we have here, which is the ST31. We want to apply that load, push the dipper stick down, so we have a gap underneath the track of 0.4 to 2 inches. Okay. Once you accept it, the dialog box is going to disappear. Okay. It will then reappear, which you can simply close and complete your process. All right, Daryl, we've released the load from the machine. Is there anything further that we need to do? No, we are complete at this point. For more information on Wacker Noisen training, please visit our website at www.wackernoisen.com or join our text club. Simply text the word WN Training to 31996. I'm Jake Gaylord for Tech Talk saying goodbye for now.